Hi everyone, it is time for a new video and today I'm going to be doing a guide to audiobooks. I have actually started this like beginner's guide to different bookish things a while ago with doing like a beginner's guide to adult romance and I haven't really gotten back to it since so I'm going to link that adult romance one in the description box. I should probably make an updated one of that so let me know if you would like to see that and also what other things you would maybe like me to do um, guides for. I feel like there's a lot of people who are really intimidated by audiobooks and Syl from The Book Voyagers recently talked about it and it made me remember that I've been wanting to film this video for a million years. I'm gonna link her channel down below, she's the best, and you should subscribe if you haven't yet. So this video is actually gonna be like audiobooks 101. I'm gonna tell you um, tips on how to get into audiobooks, what you can do while listening to audiobooks, where you can listen to audiobooks for free as well, and some audiobook recommendations along with everything I'm going to talk about. And yeah, so I'm hoping this video is going to be really useful and helpful to any of you who want to get into audiobooks, and without any further ado, let's jump straight into it. We're going to start with the tips that I have for you that, um, you know, of how to get into it. One of my tips is to listen to your favorite books. So any books that you really love that you've already read, listen to them on audio. The story is already familiar to you, you already know what's going on. And, um, you know, there's a lot of amazing audiobooks and I feel like it can often improve the experience even more and I think that's a really great way to kind of like dabble into some audiobooks and experiment with it. Now um, along with that, what I personally did is starting with nonfiction. So I know that nonfiction is not for everyone, a lot of people don't read nonfiction, so I do recommend in general to, you know, try to explore the category of nonfiction because there's a lot of good stuff and I feel like everyone pretty much can find something that interests them but I feel like nonfiction first of all a lot of the time we don't read it because we fear that it's gonna be boring so audiobooks actually make it often less boring more interesting and quicker to get through and it's kind of you know like it's not a complex story that involves a lot of characters different plot lines plot twists whatever it's something that's almost kind of like maybe if you listen to podcasts or any kind of like normal <laughs> chill way of speaking, it's kind of more similar to that than fiction. And so that's one thing. And another one is that there's a lot of nonfiction books, especially, that are narrated by the authors who wrote the books, which I feel like is something that is so fucking cool and... Um, I, you know, it makes it even cooler. And the main recommendation I have for that is Becoming by Michelle Obama. You have definitely probably heard of this book before, but I listened to it on audio. It was one of the first books that I listened to on audio, and um, it was amazing. Like, Michelle has such a fucking beautiful and, like, calming voice, and the fact that, like, Michelle Obama is talking to you <laughs> is super fucking cool. And I actually really love the book, um, like, the actual book as well. Um, it, in case you don't know the details about it, it's just Michelle's memoir. And it's kind of divided into three parts. First part is kind of about her, how she grew up, and, like, college and everything like that. The second one is kind of, like, the love story between her and Barack Obama, and the third one is kind of like about the presidency and all the po political things. And I especially loved the first part about her and like her journey and everything, and she's just such a cool person. I really recommend this book. Another nonfiction that I really want to recommend is the first one that I ever read, the first audiobook I ever read, and that is It's Not What It Looks Like by Molly Burke. This book is about Molly, who is a YouTuber and she is blind, and so in this book she kind of talks about her experience with blindness and a lot of things about that, her experience with uh, YouTube and like all kinds of things, and this audio- this is a really short audiobook, and so it's super quick to get through, and again, it's just kind of Molly narrating her experiences that almost feels like some kind of, you know, a friend is talking to you and I just feel like it's such a beautiful book and it's so easy to get into and like I was so invested 
in um, everything that Molly was saying. And I did actually like before I watch her YouTube videos and I really like her. She uh, talks a lot about like disabilities and blindness, but also like she makes fashion videos and different things like that. So I'm gonna link her channel down below if uh, you're interested in checking her out. It's what started the whole journey. So it means a lot to me. Honestly, I should probably reread it sometime. So I really recommend that. Now, I'm going to talk about like what to do and how to try to focus on the audiobooks later in the video. And what I want to do first is kind of like tell you that I feel like if you don't want to read nonfiction, it's best to ease into it through the genres that are kind of like less complex and, you know, don't involve like a ton of plot lines and characters and everything. Because I do now read everything. When I started listening to audiobooks, I again kind of read nonfiction and then I slowly got into contemporary. And then at this point, I read fantasy, I read romance, I read everything. Some books that I really fucking recommend as audiobooks and on their own is um, the Brown Sisters series by Talia Hibbert, starting with Get a Life Chloe Brown. I absolutely love this series. I adore Talia. Everyone knows if you watch my videos. And all of them are amazing um, books. I really recommend those. They're absolutely wonderful. And again, I feel like romances are really nice on audio. Another one I really recommend is The X Dog by Rachel and Solomon. This is another adult romance. I'm not going to get too into any of the synopses of the books because I feel like we'd be here for too long. So I'm just going to link everything down below. There's a lot of videos where I've talked about these books. So I'm going to link that down below as well if you're interested in hearing more of my thoughts. But the ex doc is basically kind of like an enemies to lovers, kind of like rivals to lovers um, romance where the two main characters pretend to be exes on this like radio podcast thing and it's so fun. It has um, a narrator for both of the two main characters. Two YA contemporary books that I want to recommend that I recently read are I Think I Love You by Orianne de Sombre. I just read this literally two days ago and I really enjoyed it. It's a YA sapphic contemporary. It has a lot to do with like making films and things like that and it's just really great. It's also enemies to lovers. And then Charming as Over by Ben Phillip, which is another YA contemporary. This one focuses more on, like, it's more of a coming-of-age story than a romance, but it is just so fucking wonderful. I love the main character. I just had such a great time with it, and I love the narrator. Now, moving into fantasy. If you're someone who really likes fantasy, so I have three recommendations of like three different stages of getting into audiobooks. So the first one is to read a paranormal romance and the one that I want to recommend is The Vampire Academy by um, Rich Rachel, Rachel Mead. Um, so these are very like old <laughs> books that you probably know about and um, I personally love the series. I don't remember it much and, you know, but I've actually never finished the whole thing and my plan is to finish it through audiobooks. And so I started the third one, Paranormal Romance. You know, it's still like set in our world, usually doesn't have that many characters. It's just kind of more chill than, you know, high fantasy, but at the same time it kind of gives you the taste of like there's usually more going on in the plot, maybe a few more characters or anything like that. And so I feel like, again, if you really like Vampire Academy, you could reread it through audio or you can just, you know, obviously you can listen to any other paranormal romances. I can try to give you more recommendations in the actual audiobook recommendation video. Then the second one I have is like a really chill fantasy that I just realized is technically kind of like an urban fantasy. That is The House in the Cerulean Sea by TJ Klune. So this is kind of set, I feel like this is set in our world, but it's like the world, the entire thing is magical. It doesn't work the same way that this world does. It's not like supernatural people in our normal world, if that makes sense. But it is about Linus who is sent to this house to investigate whether the magical children living there um, are safe for the world because um, they have a lot of like dangerous superpowers and it's the most beautiful queer found family book ever and it's just so soft. A lot of people describe it as a middle grade for adults and I feel like that's the best way to describe it and it's just such a beautiful book. It will make you cry happy tears. It's the best thing ever. I adore it. I love the audiobook. And then the last one that I want to recommend is Dark and Hollow Star by Ashley Shuttleworth. This book is actually also an urban fantasy, but this one has like multiple points of view 
and I think maybe like three or something like that and I haven't read this one yet but I felt like it's just too good of a recommendation not to mention it and this one has multiple narrators which I feel like is always wonderful it always enhances the experience and it's really great if there's multiple points of view because like your brain can organize it better if you know what I mean um and so this book is um again queer fan family I know that there's like um male male and female female uh, relationship in here I've heard amazing things about it I started listening to it I haven't been able to finish it yet but definitely going to do that very soon and I just think it's going to be such a wonderful book and this one is definitely longer and like more intense than all the other books I've said so far but I feel like it's like, you know, the next step. <laughs> now I kind of want to get into the tips of like what you can do while listening to audiobooks. So, um, I sometimes liked to listen like while I was on the way somewhere, on the bus, in the car, whatever, which nowadays I'm only at home. <laughs> so I want to kind of give tips to you if you're at home and you don't often do anything w during which you could listen to an audiobook. So obviously you can listen to an audiobook if you're drawing or maybe if you don't draw. What I've done before is like coloring into a coloring book. Um, another thing is journaling that is really nice as well though it kind of sometimes requires a little bit of brain power if you're like writing something but I really like that or you know if you do any kind of creative things like that that don't require a lot of your brain <laughs> and besides that though also like cleaning or anything like that I really struggle with cleaning because <laughs> of my anxiety um so if I listen to an audiobook it really helps me sometimes but if you don't do any of these things or you just you know want to chill and like read an audiobook without any of these things, what I do <laughs> is I have kind of multiple things. I basically like to watch um, things that like aren't anything in the sense of like the, I don't need sound and it's just like watching something without having to use my brain. So I watch like painting compilations, like drawing, any kind of like acrylic painting or any kind of thing like that. There's so much shit on YouTube. Some other random shit I watch is cutting soap videos and like slime videos, any kind of like satisfying compilation videos that are just like random things that are like pleasing to see but like, you know, you don't need to process any information with them. Or <laughs> I watch like makeup videos that don't have any words, you know, just seeing someone like apply lipstick or eyeshadow, anything like that. And I, because I definitely can't just sit and listen to an audiobook. I can't do that. I feel like maybe some people can. I definitely can't. And so these things really help me kind of focus and be able to process the audiobook because like I am looking at something, but I don't actually have to think about it. And so I can focus on the story. There's one more thing, and that is where you can actually listen to audiobooks. So if you don't know this, it's going to change your life. <laughs> so there's a thing called Scribd that is an app that is like a library on your phone. So I'm not entirely sure where it is available, but it's definitely like international. I'm just, I you know, I obviously can't know if it's like available in every country, but like definitely check it out. It's just a normal app on your phone store. <laughs> and you basically you can get a free trial for 30 days so i'm gonna have a link down below if you want to try it out so i feel like that's the perfect way to check out some audiobooks and see if it's for you and you know if you don't like it you're not gonna have to spend any money and then not be able to listen to it or anything like that and then once you run out of the free trial it's about nine dollars per month i feel like this is the most affordable wonderful easy way to listen to um if you actually just realized if you don't have access to libby or whatever it's called so there's basically like apps that you can connect to your library that have audiobooks i don't have access to a library so i don't know much about it but if you do have access to a library, I feel like that is something that would not cost you anything ever. But if you do not have access to a library like me, Scribd is a life changer. So I have to make like a mini disclaimer. It is like an unlimited access to audiobooks and ebooks. It is 
absolutely worth it for me and I feel like it will be worth it for a lot of people and I absolutely love Scribd and I talk about it all the time so you can definitely listen to many audiobooks in a month which if you use Audible you can literally just get one book and it's expensive and it's trash it's Amazon so I have used Audible before if I didn't have any other choice but I don't like it I'm gonna get to that a little bit later and so on Scribd you basically can listen to all kinds of things and it's unlimited the ebooks are unlimited completely and there's a lot of shit on there so that's definitely worth checking out as well even if you don't listen to audiobooks so basically you can't fully tell how it limits the audiobooks because they unfortunately don't make it clear that is the one thing that annoys me so much about script and i just wish they made it clear because it's still the best fucking service but they basically like after you listen to quite a few things they start to limit what you can listen to I listen to many different things. I listen to like new releases, traditionally published books, but also like self-published books, small press books. And I feel like with some kinds of audiobooks, it never limits you, it never takes them away. So I have a lot of them and I always like, it's just, it works for me. And it's still annoying, but like you can still have so many audiobooks out of it and ebooks. And so I feel like it's still worth it. So, if you want to get kind of like an audible similar thing, <laughs> um, there's Libro FM. So, this one, unfortunately, is kind of only in the US, so I haven't really used it. I've only used the ALK program, which is another ama amazing thing that I might as well tell you about, where you can basically apply to this program if you have a thousand followers on any social media platform and every single month there's about six books six audiobooks that are new releases or like upcoming releases i just literally read actor ag brown by talia hibbert and lost in the neverwoods by aiden thomas through there and so absolutely amazing incredible <laughs> it's not always exactly what you want but like there have been multiple books that i actually really wanted in this and it's free so you know you can just it's yeah, just like reviewer copies but audiobooks. And along with that, I've heard that it costs the same, like Audible. Pretty much everything is on there and you can support um, indie bookstores and just any bookstore of your choice, which is absolutely wonderful. And you know, if you are in the US and you use Audible, please definitely do consider that as an option that I feel like is so much better. If you are like me and you can't access Libro as an international person, the thing that apparently works that I've actually now I actually have used it because a friend of mine gifted me like a credit and you can use that so if you like gift yourself a credit which I'm pretty sure is the same like normal price then you can use it even if you're international so if you can get the app then I feel like you can make it work <laughs> that <laughs> is hopefully everything that I wanted to cover today. I'm sorry if this video was a little bit long, but I really wanted to cover the entire ground and just give you options, and I really, really hope that this helped you out. Audiobooks have seriously changed my life, and it is so wonderful, especially, like, whenever I struggle with focus. It is, audiobooks help me so much. Longer books are often, like, easier to get through on audio. I hope that you can try some audiobooks and get into it. Tell me if you are an, an audiobook listener and if this helped you and if you are planning on reading more, more audiobooks. And that's gonna be it for now. And again, like this video and tell me in the comments down below if you want the audiobook recommendations and what other guides you would like to see. And yeah, have a great day and I'm gonna see you soon in another video. Bye!